My favourite food is chicken nuggets. Uh, pizza. My favourite food are carrots. Our students come from all different backgrounds. No two students are the same. Well, I used to didn't like maths. I've always enjoyed math. I have a, definitely have an always enjoyed that. We need to make sure that the curriculum we're delivering is targeted to each and individual student. Um, a lot of people in my class like a, a lot higher in a levels than me. I feel like that's my strongest area. So right at the start of the program, the students do a diagnostic assessment to identify their strengths and weaknesses. What the program does then is it actually allocates them worksheets based on their, their weaknesses in order to build up those foundation numeracy skills before we actually add on higher level tasks. I might have one student on algebra, one on place value and one on something else because that's what they're ready for. Well, with a normal math class, you're not really learning because you don't really, you know, you already know it or you don't, 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 don't know it. There's so much unnecessary angst and fear and, and anxiety that's created by having a one-size-fits-all model. When you switch that around so that everything that the student is learning is tailored exactly for them, the benefits to the student are, are almost immeasurable. Um, at the end of two weeks, um, they actually then do a normal, a, a fortnightly test which is different to the diagnostic test um, and they get feedback based on how they've actually performed. You've got an average of 144% growth and this fortnight you got 167%. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Ideally you'd be looking at an, a, a um, growth rate of 100% which would be looking at one year's worth of growth over a one year, um, one calendar school year. The students often perform above that. Um, so I've got um, a lot of students who are actually performing at 167 um, to 200%. What we care about in terms of data coming out of those tests is not how much work the student has done. We don't care about that. It's about how much new maths have they learned. Students who were learning nothing are now learning something and a lot of them are learning an awful lot. And at the other end you've got students who aren't being held back anymore, they're sort of being let off the leash and being able to fly. And some of them absolutely fly. We see some students making six years worth of growth in, in a year. After our test we get to have a one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher and then we get to figure out our goal for the, for the next week, like how we can do this better. One of the obvious things that's now sort of circulating in educational circles is the importance of formative assessment, that is kids getting feedback about where they're at and how to do better. And that, the Math Pathway makes a, a considerable strength out of that. Um, and um, it's something that teachers frequently don't have the time to do for individual kids, but it's all done by the computer and interpreted by the teacher as needed for both the kid and parents. So yes, there's a lot of use of data to strengthen the, and build the confidence of kids. It's good for me to know where I'm at and what I'm doing right and wrong. So they own their data, um, they can look at their patterns um, over the year. In my one-on-one -on -one feedback sessions that I have with the students, we can actually pinpoint um, times over the year where they haven't actually gone so well, and they'll, say, they'll be able to articulate with me, oh, that's when such and such happened. Okay, so you've got an average effort rate of 100%. That's huge, just fantastic. We've dropped a little bit down for this last fortnight. Is there any reason why we dropped down a little bit? It's extremely holistic. It's about them as a learner, as a whole entity. During the actual lessons itself, we do go around and we, we talk about the skills and we help them with their skill level. But it's also about building them as an independent learner. Just before the bell goes, I want you to look back at your maths goal, please, so that you're actually in tune with what you're focusing on. So I'm not necessarily just a maths teacher teaching topic content anymore. It's more about teaching those wider skills. It's helped me in different areas of math, like problem solving is a massive one. Because I'm actually teaching each individual student, they feel like they've got that connection to you. Let's do the next one together. You get to know about them and it makes you enjoy teaching them that little bit more. Have you got it? Well done. I have enjoyed um, the teacher coming around asking how you're doing. You don't have to walk up to the front, everyone's staring at you everyone listening to you like she's just quietly next to you and you can just be honest and figure out all your problems and stuff. 
when they're looking at their data, they're obviously enjoying the data. I've decided some of the feedback from last test. Okay, who is happy with where they're going? Yeah, you ha you're happy with where you're going? I've had a number of students actually where the, less, where the bell's actually gone and they've actually stayed to want to talk about their data. They want to actually review their data and see how they went. So that, that joy that they're actually feeling in maths is increasing because they're actually, they, they know where they're at. I don't have to stress about other people and like them thinking, well, she's a bit dumb because she doesn't know it, but like it's not a, that wasn't at my level, but now it is. And I feel a lot more confident because I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna give you a tricky one. They're able to actually understand the mathematics they're learning. Because it's, it's not too hard for them, it's not too easy for them, it's just right, you know, it's in that Goldilocks zone of, of learning. And that's just magical. You're, you're able to, you know, connect different mathematical concepts together, you're able to work things out, you're able to see how things elegantly, you know, relate. Did you discover something? Yeah. Because yeah. it's a prime number, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's where the fun and the joy is in mathematics. Um, and, and I think that, that concept of having joy in what you're learning is, is probably the biggest impact that, that we can possibly hope to have. Great job.